Let me give you two examples. So at rest, you have some fat combustion, right? So let's say we use green here um, to look at fat combustion. And then when you increase intensity from rest to this zone two to FDP, fat combustion rates first go up and then they go down and you know, somewhere in the range of FDP, they go basically to zero, okay? Well, almost close to zero. And therefore you could argue, okay, well, in this case, my fat max, so the maximum fat combustion rate would be somewhere in this range, 70, maybe here 70 um, to 80% of, of the FTP value. Now the problem is fat combustion rates are highly individual between athletes and they're highly affected by training. I mean, think about it, that makes sense because we just said that actually one main benefit we try to get from zone two aerobic endurance training to you know uh, increase our fat combustion ability so therefore it comes at no surprise that actually fat combustion rate and fat max adapts by training and therefore it should be no surprise that it can change throughout the training process over several weeks or months of training and it's also very individual and different between two athletes therefore fat combustion could look like this but it could for example also look like this, which means that the maximum fat combustion rate of MFO fat oxidation rate is at a lower percentage, not 70 to 80 percent, but more like 60 to 70 percent, right, of your FTP. And the first issue you see already there is that your FTP itself is not telling you at which percentage you burn the most amount of fat. And science has proven that training at fat max, so training at the intensity at which the fat combustion rate is the highest, okay, helps decreasing body fat, for example. And there's another aspect to it, which is fat needs more oxygen in order to, to, to be processed, to be combusted as a fuel. That's actually how people measure classically in the lab with a metabolic heart your fat combustion rates. They attach you to a metabolic heart, you have this mask on your face, it measures oxygen uptake and CO2 output, and if there's excess oxygen uptake over the CO2 output, it tells the exercise physiologist that this is because you burn more fat. So the excess amount of oxygen uh, is needed to simplified speaking, burn fat in your, in, in your working muscles.